Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of Life in the Woods Renaissance. And in today's episode, I'm just out here, you know, killing some cows, doing some stuff. Um, our house is like right over there through that forest, and I noticed there was a whole bunch of cows over here, and actually, there was quite a few. I got, uh, basically three and a half stacks of beef, and to be fair, beef only stacks to 16 in this mod pack. It doesn't stack all the way up to 64, like in vanilla, but man, it's dark. You guys probably can't see anything. Hmm. Tell you what, I'm gonna head home, take a nap, and I'll be back with you in just a second. All right, guys, I am back. Home sweet home. I had a little bit of troubles, a little, little bit of troubles on the way home. Just, just, you know, a couple of skeletons. Yeah, I look like a pincushion, <laughs> but that's all right. A uh, couple things that I want to make right away. I want to make this backpack. Oh, backpack, how I have missed you so much. All this extra storage space. Ah, oh, it's so good to have that. Oh, man, that is going to make life just so much better. Uh, we also picked up some other stuff. Oh, and I organized this between episodes as well. Uh, I had a chest here and here and two chests here. And I basically used some of my, uh, my iron to make trap chests instead, and just put all of my chests right here to your right when you walk in the door. So I thought that was a, a pretty good little solution. Um, but what I want to do... Where would be my mushrooms? I, I'm, like, out of mushrooms. There we go. Actually, one, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Let's actually go ahead and make a bunch of these grilled mushrooms to munch on. Because my hunger is relatively low from that little adventure. And this should fill me right back up. There we go. Much better. Okay. Now you can go back here. Let's grab our bones. And actually... You know what? We're gonna, I, I have a backpack now. We've got a good source of leather kind of in the works. I think I want to make some item frames. Uh, let's do, let's see. So four wood will make an item frame. Four times seven would be, um, math, math and stuff, 28. Okay. So, there we go. And there we go. I'm gonna make seven item frames so that we can just plop them on the chests and that way we can label all of our chests, which I think is a really good idea. So wood, uh, actually let's not use that wood. Let's use a log instead, I think. There we go. This will be stone. This will be other blocks. We'll have Resources like iron and stuff there. This can be uh, Let's just use this stone axe. That's like tools these will be non-food planty thingies and This can be Food So there we go. Yay for organization. Okay. Um, oh Actually, slime balls, those can go in there too. Now, I've got a bunch of these bones that I want to use to bone meal our crops. And some developments have been made with our farm as well. We now have four complete rows of wheat, which is awesome. Uh, we do, however, still need four complete rows of soybeans. So, we're going to use all of our bone meal on these guys. There we go. And that gives us... Enough for two, that, that's not bad, that's not bad. That'll get us a decent amount of soybeans growing here. And let's just plant all of those and then we'll plant all of these guys as well. So three more, three more soybeans and we will have full fields. And that makes me very, very happy. We can also breed up a couple of our cows, I guess. And we are off to a pretty good start, I think. So in today's episode, uh, what I'd really like to do is get a little bit of uh, a little bit of progression going. We did find some diamonds, 
last episode, and I definitely like to make a diamond pick and get some obsidian so we can get into the nether and all that kind of good stuff. I don't know if the nether is any different in this mod pack. I have no idea. Um, but I do know that we'll eventually want to get into enchanting and all that kind of stuff too, so we might as well. We might as well uh, make ourselves a diamond pick and head on down. Ooh, and actually, if I can find some sugar cane, I can make a book. I don't suppose any of this stuff can be used. Hold on, let's just take a look and see. Is there any other way to make paper other than just sugar cane? Rice. Rice and sugar cane. That's, that's basically it. And I don't have any sugar cane that I've found so far. Uh, but maybe we'll find some if we go on an adventure, which which we may want to do. Uh, before I head down to the mines, I should probably make a couple of torches. That might be a good idea. Just, just a thought. Yeah. Yep. Might want to make some torches. There we go. Okay. Let's just make one stack of torches. All right, I think I have everything I need to head down to the mines, so I'm gonna head down to the mines, see if I can get my hands on some obsidian, maybe do a little bit of other mining as well, and I'll come back in just a little bit. All right, guys, I am back from what I would consider to be a very successful mining adventure. Um, I got six diamonds, 16 obsidian, which is how much we need, and then some iron, and I mean, I did it pretty well considering I really wasn't doing any mining other than just, you know, basic caving. So I'll take it. I will definitely take it. I'm very, very happy with how that all worked out. Um, soybeans are still growing. We can go ahead and plant two more. Now we only need one more soybean. And then we'll have full fields. Completely full fields. And I can go ahead and breed up my cows again as well, which is always a good thing. There we go. We'll get those guys growing making baby cows for me to eat later. Um, <laughs> I'm terrible. Uh, anyway, so, what I want to do, uh, there's a reason I got 16 obsidian. Some of you are probably screaming and saying, you only need 14 obsidian to make a portal and an enchanting table. Well, my friends, you are correct. You only need 14 obsidian to make a portal and a vanilla crafting table. However, or uh, enchanting table, however, I don't want to make a vanilla enchanting table. I want to make this guy right here the advanced enchantment table, which is a bit more complicated. I'm also going to need an ender pearl and some blaze powder for that, so it's going to be a little while before we can actually get into that, but I wanted to make sure I had the obsidian set aside. So, let's, get, well, let's grab 10 obsidian to make another portal with. And then let's let's work a little bit on another portal platform design as well. I think I want to have some sort of design here. Uh, that was accidental. So let's see. First and foremost, where to put the nether portal. I don't want to put it right next to the house because then we'll get annoying nether portal noises forever. Um, hello, slime. Go away, slime. Die, sl ah, that's a witch. That's a witch, kill the witch, kill the witch, kill the witch, kill the witch. Okay, now we can worry about the slimes. There we go. Poison is, uh, poison potions are just so nasty. So very nasty. You don't want to tangle with them if you can avoid it. Um, let's see. I see you, creeper. Go away. Go away. Yes, okay. You know, we could put our nether portal like over here into the side of this cliff. That could be kind of cool. Maybe we'll do that. We'll just kind of hollow out an area like so. And then we'll ultimately end up covering this guy up so that it will work a little bit, so that it'll, you know, look better. Because the other thing about nether portals is they really don't look very good. Let's just be honest about that. They're not, it's not that they're not the prettiest things in the world. But if we do something like that and then maybe like, eh, that goes up all the way. That I don't know about. But we can do maybe, you know, something along these lines to kind of, cover it up a bit. This looks really bad, but I'm just kind of giving you an idea of what I'm talking about. You know, something 
Something like that, although with more actual, like, design in it. Like, for example, let's, let's, let's do this. Here's what we do. Maybe we go and we take some spruce stairs and go like this. And maybe we do that here as well. Like so. And then here, in this middle part... Did I lose a stone? I may have lost a stone. It doesn't really matter. Then maybe like here, we put logs like that. And up here, maybe we do... Maybe up here we put logs again, and then a log that kind of comes across right here. You know? Just something, something simple. Something very simple. Just to make it look a little bit better than a standard, boring nether portal. Because most, most nether portals don't look so amazing. Um, and we could even put a couple of torches on there. There. That doesn't look so bad. That could be... That could be worse, right? Right? I mean, it's not the... It, it's fine. It's fine. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna do any more with it for now. Oh. I broke my pick. Um, I want to make this back here. This andesite cobblestone instead. Just because I think it looks a little bit better. Okay, so we're good. Now... I have, I have this strange feeling that these things regenerate, the, the gardens, because I think, I feel like I've been over this area a million times, and every now and again, I'll go over it, and I'll come across a new garden that I hadn't seen yet, you know, like the, the stock gardens, the, uh, um, the leafy gardens, the, basically all the garden things from Pam's Harvest Craft. I feel like every time I go through this forest, I find something that I didn't find before. And I don't know, I may be completely wrong. Maybe they don't regenerate, but I just have this sneaking suspicion that maybe they do. Um, which is very interesting. Uh, but anyway, so let's go ahead and make ourselves a flint and steel. And I think... I think I may need to make myself some more mushrooms while I'm at it. Because, yeah, the hunger is real right now. Okay, let's make some of these guys. Just chow down on those for the time being. It should be fine, it's fine. It's perfectly okay. Is it possible to make flour? That is the question. Flour. Flour. Corn flour. Or regular flour. And flour can be... Can it just be cooked can flour itself be just made into bread? I don't think so. Ooh, but I can make... Uh huh. What, what, what did I need? A mortar and pestle. And a mortar and pestle is... Essentially smooth stone and a stick. So... If I take three of these... Actually, let's just... Let's just do a stack's worth. Let's make a stack of these into uh, smooth. So we'll do something like that. Get those going. This could be very, very useful for us. Because we've got, I mean, we've got all this raw beef here. And I have a feeling that I can use the raw beef. Maybe not for that exact recipe for the breaded pork chop. Um, but, uh, maybe it does have to be a, uh, it does have to be pork. Can I do it? Can I do anything with steak? With beef? Why can't I have a breaded beef chop? That sounds delicious to me, I think. That, 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 no. Ah. Uh, oh well. It's fine. Um, either way, I'm gonna need the mortar and pestle, so let's go ahead and make that. There we go. And then, I guess we'll get into presses. I was kind of hoping to not have to do that just yet, but I'm not really seeing a way around it, so we'll go for it. It's fine. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is make two pistons. Like so. There we go. And then we take those two pistons. 
and surround them on either side with iron ingots, and that will make us this presser, which is essentially a Pam's Harvest Craft thing. And this is, I think this is going to be our little kitchen, just right here. Uh, and what we do is we take soybeans, throw those guys into here, and those will get pressed into soy milk. Then when that's done, we can take the soy milk and press that into tofu, if I remember correctly. It's been a little while since I've done this, uh, but let's just check and find out. We do that, and... Yeah, there we go, silken tofu, and then I think you press the silken tofu one more time to make firm tofu, which is the one that gets used in all the recipes, I think. Um, not 100% sure, but either way, let's try this out, let's see. So if we do three of those with the mortar and pestle, that'll make three flour. And then... What did that need to be con combined with? Um, it was for a breaded pork chop. A skillet, okay. And we've already got a skillet, so we're good there. So let's just grab tofu. There we go. Let's try this out. Firm tofu. And there we go, breaded pork chop. And that thing actually restores a decent amount of hunger. Like, it's not amazing. But it's definitely better than the uh, the little spider eye things that we were using before. Um, I do want to check and see what, since we've got so much beef, I want to check and see what I can use that for. Uh, and it looks like it's getting late as well, so... Let me browse through some recipes, let me take a nap, and I'll come right back to ya. Alright guys, I am back. I have an awesome idea. So, what we can actually do, is we can make these into burgers. And we can use the wheat to make dough. So I think that's probably gonna be the coolest way to do this. So let's just turn this stuff into wheat. And then, the downside is we have to, it takes a little while to do the water. Uh, because we need to do it essentially one bucket at a time which is a little annoying but you know what it's fine we'll just you know so on and so forth super exciting we'll go until we got 10 of these it's fine seven oh not the sword eight no come back water bucket no and I seem to have knocked a hole in my water. Um, there we go. Fixed. Ten. Okay. So, we can take the flour, the salt, and the fresh water, and make that into a, uh, make that into dough. But, the downside is, for dough, we need one of these mixing bowls. Uh, luckily, mixing bowl, pretty easy to make. Should be able to make that very, very simply. So, let's go one, two, three. Bones, why why you be in, in there? You, you're not... No, no, that, that's not where you go. Um, there we go. So, there's the mixing bowl. And we'll go salt, flour, and fresh water, and that makes dough. Then, I think we can just smelt up the dough. And the dough gets made into bread. Let's double check that. Do... Uh, oh wow, you can use dough for all sorts of stuff. Pumpkin bread. Yeah, it just smelts. You can smelt it right into bread. Okay, cool. So, let's go... like that. And we'll put five in each. And then we'll have to smelt it again into toast which will take a little while, but ultimately, we're going to be able to make burgers. So, and the burgers should actually last us for a little bit longer than uh, all the other stuff that we've made. So I think, I think it'll be well worth it once we're all said and done. Let me get some cooking done here, guys. I'll come back to you in just a little while. All right, guys, I am back, and I totally just realized that I can actually do even better if I make myself a pot. So what we can do, since we have those cows, we can grab our salt, we can get a pot like this, and we can actually milk the cows, 
and with salt and a pot make cheese. And what's amazing about that is that means we can now make cheeseburgers, which are significantly better than regular burgers. So, I'm going to milk all the cows, I'm going to do all that kind of stuff, and I'll come back to you in just a little bit. Alright guys, I am back. So we got our toast, we got our beef, we got our skillet, we're ready to go. So, let's see here. Skillet, cheese, beef, toast. No. What am I doing wrong? Cheeseburger. Oh, I need to make the, uh, the, okay. Looks like you gotta make the burgers themselves first. Oh, but they only stack to four. That's slightly annoying, but I guess I'll deal with it. Um, okay. What? What am I doing? Oh, no, no, you don't actually need a pat. You, you don't need a pan at all. That's so weird. Okay. Try this again. Mm-hmm. Cheeseburgers. Burgers. Yes. How much did that... How much does that restore? Oh, now there we go. Now we've got some actual food. Beautiful. Okay, let's just go ahead and put this stuff away. And we should be in good shape. Now, salt, if I remember correctly, salt is something you can make yourself. Let's see. Yeah, just water, fresh water, which you can make by just basically taking a bucket and putting it in a crafting window, and then a pot. So that actually works out pretty well for us because it's a renewable food source, and it looks like it restores a pretty decent amount of health. Um... But I think it is definitely time for us to head into the nether and try that out a little bit. See if there's any changes and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, let's make... I think I'm out of sticks. That's okay. Let's just make some sticks. Let me make myself another iron pick. Like so. We put you back in here. This goes over here. I don't think I want to take my diamond pick with me into the nether. I'm just going to take the iron one. And then I'll just take a stack of building blocks. Uh, just in case they're needed. For whatever. Doesn't really matter. And I guess we'll head into the nether. So, let's grab... We got a flint and steel, right? Yes. Good. Beautiful. Okay. Alright. Here we go. All right, guys, so this is our nether spawn. Um, that is a nether fortress right there already. And this place looks legitimately creepy. Um, I mean, we've got biomes aplenty, so it definitely is gonna be different than vanilla, but it looks with shaders and everything, it just looks so, like, different. I know it's not all that different, like, there's certainly uh, modded nethers I've seen that are significantly more different than this one, but yeah, this is, this is definitely something different than what you would see in vanilla. But we've got this nether fortress here, I think we should probably explore it a bit. Let's just throw a torch down, and I guess I'll just dig my way up? I guess that's what we'll do. It's so dark. I, I wish you guys could see a little bit better, but um, you know, with with the shaders. There we go. Let's just, we'll, we'll put down a torch so maybe you guys can see that <laughs> at least a little bit better. Let's see. You can see the you can see the glowstone up there from such a distance, which is kind of nice, actually. Put a torch here. And we'll just kind of work our way around and up the pillar until we get to where we need to go. I think we're almost there. Let's see. Boy, do I miss the 1.9 <laughs> hand hold, the, the, the second hand right now, the off hand. That would be nice. Then I could hold a torch in one hand so you guys could see. Oh. Oh. Scary. Scary things! 
Oh, move, 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 move. Okay. I heard a ghast. Eat food. All right. All right, we're looking for blazes and we're looking for nether wart. And then I'm getting out of here because I have no desire to stick around here any longer than I need to. Especially given how dark it is, like... You guys literally can't see anything right now, I'm sure, so... Let's just murder a couple blazes, get some blaze... get some blaze rods. Oh! Oh, hello! Hello! Whoo! I can't see anything either, apparently. Oh, this could be bad. Oh, he actually dropped a wither skeleton skull. Wow. Alright, this guy needs to die. Okay, we got our blaze. We got our blaze rods. I killed two wither skeletons and got two wither skeleton skulls just like that? No. With an iron sword that didn't have any enchants on it? Hacks! Or something? No way! That's incredible. That's like the luckiest I have ever gotten with wither skeletons. Um, I'm almost tempted to look around and like see if that's a, a thing. I'm gonna eat this other burger though. It does take longer to eat food that rest that's like better for you, I think. Like uh, more nutritious foods, I believe. Hello, Blazes. There's one. Oh, I'm on fire. Kill the Blaze. Um, we'll just put some torches down there. Okay, so we got two blaze rods. Realistically, that's all I need. I need enough to make a couple eyes of ender and for an ender pearl or for a, a, a potion brewing thing. So this this will be fine. This is more than enough blazes. Um, he can hit me, which I'm not too keen on. I think I'm just going to let that one go. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. And I think I'm gonna work my way back. I'd love to find some nether wart, but I need to find the inside of the nether fortress first. That's definitely not it. Hmm, I'm gonna explore a little bit, guys. I'll come back to you if I find anything good. All right, guys, I am back. And I was able, I mean, I I didn't find everything I was looking for. I did get blaze rods though, and that's that was probably the most important thing. Um, I was really hoping to find some nether wart, but, uh, you know, you can't win them all. I don't know if this fortress really has any, and it's really hard to explore with the shaders on, so, I don't know. But either way, I think I'm gonna go ahead and head back to the overworld now, uh, now that we've just kind of taken a peek at the nether to see what all is there. And we'll see, we'll see if maybe there's some other stuff, uh, that we can get into, because, as I said, until I got that blaze rod, I wasn't going to be able to get into enchanting anyway, so, you know, it is what it is. Let's see here. How are our farms doing? Farms are doing pretty well, all in all. Everything's growing, it seems. Oh, there's a mature soybean. I mean, we've got a good, a good reliable food source now, which is really, really, really important. Um, we can also breed up these cows, maybe? Maybe, maybe not. I'm, I might not have. Nope, I think they're all as bred as they can be. That's okay. Soon they'll be breaded, if you know what I mean. Uh, anyway, <laughs> uh, let's see here. So let me just kind of clear out my inventory. I didn't find much. I found a little tiny bit of gold, um, some of that kind of stuff, but we did get, we did get a couple decent blocks. We got some nether rack. Uh, I did get a little quartz, which is always a good thing, and we got some more bones and things like that too, so all in all, you know, definitely a worthwhile trip. We got a few different, we got a few things that made it worthwhile, so I'm not going to complain too much, but guys, I think that is going to do it for this episode, so if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps out my channel. Next time, I think we're going to go on a bit of an adventure and see if we can discover some more of the world now that we have uh, unlocked the nether <laughs> as a form of transportation. Uh, as for me, guys, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.